I think it was Thomas Edison who said, I find out what the world needs and then I invent it. There were over 600 million people in Africa without power. Energy is the basis for everything. People need lights, cell phone charging, and refrigeration to keep their food cold. It's that first bit of electrical power that is massively transformative. We decided to reinvent the African utility, change the way people view and pay for power, and so we developed a containerized, community-run power system. I remember at age 10, struggling with waterborne diseases in my rural community. The water is red with worms. Drinking bottled water is an unaffordable luxury. After graduating my PhD, I started asking myself, okay, what does it mean? What does my PhD nanomaterials mean to my community? And that is how I came up with nanofilters that purifies water. The life of a subsistence farmer is a difficult one. Traditionally, the crops are fertilized by hand. It has long-term health effects. One growing season, I urgently needed to apply fertilizer to my crop. The workers didn't show up, and I failed miserably to do it on my own. And I knew there was a better way of doing it. I applied for a grant, and I engineered my first prototype. Standard microgrid has the ability to reach communities that would never otherwise have access to the national grid. We use solar panels and battery storage to harness the energy, and our patented switch turns every home into a hyper-efficient smart home. Our mobile application allows a member of the community to interface with the grid, buying and selling power, balancing loads, and controlling people's customized programs. Nano filters are revolutionary. I have customized them to remove specific contaminants in water. In one village, you find that their challenge is copper. In another place, it is fluoride. In another place, it is pesticides. Nano filters are bringing holistic solution in our community. Parents can earn income from their small business of purifying water. Children are not sick, they attend school regularly, and the whole community is impacted by this safe clean water business. Small scale farming doesn't have to be a backbreaking job anymore. The on-spot fertilizer applicator is a 15 kilogram backpack with a transfer tube to the dispenser which is held in the hand. The dispenser digs a hole into the soil, dispenses the right quantity of fertilizer, and then buries it in the soil. It makes farming easier, more efficient, and increases crop yields. It was bizarre to come here and ask people to pay me for a service. However, I realized that they wouldn't be paying if they didn't truly value it. It is literally empowering. This is a business relationship and the customer has a financial stake in it. Our goal is to deliver 200 microgrids per year by 2020. And our vision is to reach a million customers within 10 years. The most rewarding part of my career is that now, I'm providing safe, clean water to 5,000 people daily. And my goal is to reach 100,000 people every day. Does Africa need aid? Africa needs connections. It needs networks. It needs a sustainable support, particularly at the grassroots level. So, and that is what Africa Prize for Engineering is offering.
the applicator is helping hundreds of small-scale farmers and has the potential to help millions of small-scale farmers around the world, thus improving their quality of life. We cannot build a sustainable future without applying innovative technologies even to the most basic problems. Funding programs like the Africa Prize for Engineering Innovation will help African entrepreneurs solve our own problems sustainably.